What's up YouTube? This week we're going to talk about how to get in shape the fastest and quickest way. How can you go from being a couch potato to looking great in six weeks? As a trainer in Hollywood, I've helped many actors and artists to get in shape for movies or for tours. In this video, I'll be sharing the key elements to a successful six week transformation plan. Element one, set realistic goals. It's important to set your expectations right. With that said, there's nothing wrong with looking like the rock or losing 150 pounds long term, but in six weeks, you gotta be a little more realistic. So it's important to really do some research and get an understanding on what's doable in six weeks. Element two, a balanced, healthy diet. You cannot out-train a poor diet. I say it again, you cannot out-train a poor diet. You need to get on top of your nutrition. With that said, you shouldn't be too extreme with your nutrition either. The best way of approaching it is to look at it in a balanced way. My philosophy is that 17 out of 20 meals should be on point. They should be healthy. Three out of 20, you can eat anything you like. If you like pizza, hamburgers or ice cream, you can have that every once in a while. Just make sure that 17 out of 20 aren't point and enjoy those three out of 20. With a system like that, you don't have to have a guilty conscience. You don't have to feel bad because you have a slice of pizza with your friends on a first day or popcorn with that movie on a Saturday night. You see, food is a big part of life and uh, it would be a shame if you would have to deprive yourself of foods that you like. So everything in moderation. Aim for a diet that's high in protein, high in fiber and contains good fats. Cut back on processed foods, sugar, and foods that have a lot of saturated or trans fats. A little hack that I use is when I look at my lunch plate or dinner plate, I make sure they have a fistful of protein and a fistful of carbs or fat or a combination of both and two fistfuls of vegetables on the plate. And that's what I do both for lunch and for dinner. Element number three, you need a structured workout plan. How many times per week are you going to the gym? Are you doing twice? three times, four times, five times. How long are you staying every time? And what's your goal? All those things determines how you are training or what your training should look like. You shouldn't do full body workouts if you're going to the gym five days a week. But if you're going twice, that might be the best option for you. So make sure that you consult someone who knows uh, a professional or to do some research. So make sure to find that optimal program for your goals. For the exact programs that I use with my clients, check out my app. For all of you that doesn't have a gym but still want to work out at home, did you know that I have several bodyweight programs on my training app, from beginner all the way to advanced? On top of that, you'll be getting access to all my superhero programs and the nutrition guide. And not only can you message me on the app, now you can stream your training on all devices. Element four, recovery. I'm sure you heard it before, and it is true. Recovery is super important. You wanna make sure to get enough sleep. Try to get at least seven, eight hours. We're all different, it's a bit individual, but you do wanna make sure to get enough sleep. Without sleep, the human body will actually shut down and will eventually die. So that will tell you how important sleep is. Also make sure that when you're working hard in the gym or when you're training, that you rest in between. You know, you might want to take that extra day off if your body's telling you to. Yeah, make sure to get enough recovery in there, whether it's rest in between sets or rest in between workouts or if it's sleep. Super important. Element number five consistency and commitment. Motivation is fantastic, but it's totally overrated. If you rely on motivation, you're gonna fail. No one's motivated all the time. It is consistency and accountability that will get you there. So if you're committed to working out five days a week, you better show up five days a week, regardless of weather or your friends not joining you or I'm having a crappy day, doesn't matter show up. I'm also a big fan of setting small goals and then celebrating when I reach them along the way. You might want to lift a certain weight in a certain exercise or you might want to look a certain way and it's important to stop and actually acknowledging those small wins and reaching those goals. That will also give you motivation. That might give you that little extra energy that you can use when you're in there sweating and working out. So in summary, a successful transformation plan requires a healthy diet, realistic goals, 
structured workouts, recovery time, and consistency. Please remember getting in shape is a journey and not a destination. I hope these tips can help you to get healthier and happier. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. See you next time.